Welcome back. Hi. To We're fighting in the kitchen. Yeah. So we need to do the goddamn dishes. I didn't calm down very much. No. Uh, well, it's been like 30 seconds. And his eyes widen in shock when she speaks again. It's in a voice that is low. It, it's in a voice that is low, dangerous, sexy. Get out of my house, Hissel. She looks kind of happy. Jesus. Or like she's going to stab me. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's pulling out the knife. The sudden change in her tone snaps me out of my self-righteous anger and makes me realize with a dawning horror what I've just said. Emmy, I didn't mean... I said go, Hissel. Tell my mother that she cooked a wonderful meal, but you've forgotten a prior engagement, and get out of my house. She's trembling now, shaking with anger or sadness or determination. Her voice is still low, controlled, almost a growl. I reach out to put an arm on her shoulder to apologize for going too far, but she jerks away from my touch. Get out! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> is that why your head snapped back earlier? <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? I walk out of the kitchen and go to the living room, make my apology to Mrs. Abarazaki, and let myself out. Great job. The end. I'm not happy with the current situation. Are you ever with this fucking no, situation? No, I hadn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are we back at school now then? Yep. The morning alarm sounds and I roll over, switching it off. My eyes open blearily to stare at the ceiling. That damn ceiling again. I thought there was a choice earlier, but I guess that's <clears throat> later. Uh, what am I going to do? Do I get out of bed and go down to the track and pretend that nothing happened? Will Emmy even show up after last evening's events? I doubt it. Even supposing that she did, what would I do then? Get over this fight just to dance the same routine the next time something's bothering her? I know that I spoke hastily last evening, especially trying to use her father as leverage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't! <laughs> but was anything I said really off the mark? She won't let me in, ever, and she'll be forced to suffer alone. Nothing I do, nothing I say is going to change that. She won't change, and she's already decided to keep me at arm's length. Can I really bring myself to go down there and see her, knowing that I'm never going to get past where I am now? Guess I'll just lay here and die, yeah. then. <sighs> you'll, n you'll never get past that barrier, ever. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> no, I decide. I really can't. Not today. I roll over and go back to sleep. She probably won't be there anyway. A uh, similar mental conversation repeats itself. Oh, good. When it comes time to go to lunch and I eat in the cafeteria alone. I don't want to see her. The very thought makes me feel ill. That night, I go for a run. I'm solo for the first time since Emmy got sick after the track meet. Skip to seeing the nurse just in case he asked about Emmy. I don't want to talk about... I don't want to talk about her either. She can't be mad at me. I'm mad at her. I, the next day, I do the same thing. Alarm off, stay in bed, eat alone, run alone. I spiral into a depression that I never recover from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to fill the time that I would not usually be spending with Emmy, I start reading more. Books before hose. Yeah. It no. works surprisingly well until I find myself ducking into a restroom because I see her walking down the hall in between classes. Are we really going to do this? If she noticed me, she didn't show it, even though I don't suppose she ever shows anything. Certainly not to the girls from her class I see talking cheerfully to her. Yeah, she's supposed to wander around crying all the time. Or to her fellow track members. Yeah, she's not reacting the way you want her to, after all. <laughs> she must not care about you Especially at all. Especially not to me. Alarm off, stay in bed. Mutow and I have a lengthy talk about girls. <laughs> 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 Breaks out a bottle of scotch and talks about the future. <laughs> talks about the possibility that string theory is plausible oh my god <laughs> i don't buy it myself more than four dimensions i can buy but a bunch of vibrating strings at the subatomic level that's nonsense right <laughs> i totally that's, know what that is that's asking a bit much so okay <laughs> <laughs> looks like i'm not the only one who to think this way too apparently it's not really a strong uh, theory as it once was Good, I don't have to learn it then. Mutau says that just because nobody has found the right way of looking at the data yet. I didn't have to voice him. <laughs> Eat alone. But still go to the roof. The rooftop is deserted today. I briefly wonder where Emmy and Rin are. 
But why'd you even go up there? Yeah, you wanted but them to come up and sh- find you. <laughs> shrug off the question. The important thing is that they aren't here, so I won't have to talk to them. Since I have nobody to talk to, I bring a book with me to read. I just My new best to friend. That. <laughs> I named him Frank. <laughs> I named it Emily. <laughs> The weather's nicer, if getting a little hot. Hopefully it will be cooler in the evening. A cool breeze seems to back up my theory. I got you, bro. Run alone. (laughs) It is, in fact, cooler at the track. No sign of Emmy, which is exactly the sort of thing I'm going for. I stretch out and start on my usual run, trying hard to ignore the lack of a running partner in front of me. (laughs) Finding my thoughts drifting damnly to to that girlish laugh, incorrigible grin, those wide and friendly eyes, her incredibly toned body. Oh, God, running with a boner. I increase the pace to clear my head. That's what keeps him going, staring, <laughs> yeah. at, staring at Emmy's ass. Chew up the distance between me and the turns. Find the speed that makes me think only of my legs and how much they burn. Legs? Oh, no. I g- <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said legs. <laughs> <laughs> I glance at my watch as I round the final turn, noting that my time's gotten faster. Okay. My heart seems a bit <laughs> squirrely tonight, so I give myself a few extra cooldown laps, just to be safe. No reason to bring this to the nurse's attention. I'll be fine. A rather Emmy-ish thought to have, I'll admit. I have to hope that eventually I'll stop thinking about her so much. You won't. So you're just gonna... The, your, your relationship is over. Yeah. You're just done. You're yep. not even gonna try, because you'll never get any further, because she didn't open up within the first two weeks. <laughs> I finish another book before going to bed that night. I'll have to stop by the library tomorrow. Time to pick another girl. <laughs> well, all right. The library. That's yep. probably where Hanukkah will be. Yeah. Just search for that beanbag. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to tell her. <laughs> I don't know why I keep the early alarm on anymore, but it wakes me up the next morning just the same. I still turn it off and go back to sleep. Hey, there we go. That's who we chose, I guess. Yay! That afternoon as I uh, get ready to head to the cafeteria for another solo lunch, I've got a new book about a couple of con men in ancient Persia that I'm pretty excited about reading. I don't care, Hazal. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) This is not why we're playing this game. I am suddenly cornered by Misha and... Huh, I guess just Misha. Um, (laughs) I killed (laughs) Shizune! (laughs) (laughs) Off to eat it! Loading again, he chin. You fucking watching me? <laughs> We've noticed, you know. We? Uh huh. She chin, and I noticed that you've been spending more time alone. She wanted me to find out why, so I told her I'd ask you. You in the doghouse? Mind her fucking business. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't ask me herself. She would have, but you don't understand sign language. <laughs> 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 she wanted <laughs> to get a head start on some paperwork. There's a lot of it, since we're coming up on the end of the term, you know. Why the sudden interest in my well-being, anyway? Ah, Shi chan said it is the duty of the student council to keep track of the emotional health of its students. Plus, we're nosy. (laughs) Too long. A cons... We want to be the rebound girl. ...constituent to spiral into depression. Unchecked would be an unforgivable failure in the council's duties. What? Oh. Oh, Oh, shit. Oh, God. My bad. Mouse wheel. Well... (laughs) <laughs> Put your finger back up. <laughs> <laughs> Go back and forth. <laughs> uh, 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 All right. Uh, staying alive. Staying alive. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, that's easy then. I'm not depressed. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> but you're eating alone, and nobody's seen you and Emmy together at all. Something happened, didn't it, He-Chan? Misha's voice takes a slightly sterner tone. I don't know how that's possible. (laughs) So somehow she keeps the familiar lilt at the end of her sentences. Oh, here we go. (coughs) I purse my lips. Um, Uncertain about how to respond. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the answer for this one. No. Well, let me guess first. I won't. Okay, don't click it. But get. How do I save again? Do I right click? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Because this right here is the decider if you get the bad end or the good end. Oh no. Uh, about how we're, I'm failing in a relationship. Yeah, well, yeah. Do you, do you tell Misha what's going on, mm. or do you just go, oh, no, everything's fine? Uh, do you start I'll, spreading rumors? Or not rumors, I, but... I, I would click the top one. That is the correct answer. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yay! Well, I suppose someone else knowing about my problem can't hurt. Heck, maybe Misha can even offer some advice. We had a fight at her house. I keep trying to get close to her and she won't let me get close. And I said something stupid and she threw me out. Have you talked to her since then? No, because I'm dumb. Misha <laughs> looked... I'm hiding from her in the bathroom because I'm a loser. Misha looked <laughs> genuinely concerned. I'm surprised as I'd almost expected her to drop the subject after finding out what the trouble was. Even more surprising is how quickly I find myself spilling my guts to her. No, I haven't. I just can't bring myself to face her after that. I made a complete fool of myself, and she probably hates me now anyway. Especially since I haven't seen her since then. Yeah, you screwed it up even worse. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <clears throat> You're pretty slow, he chan That doesn't sound like advice. Oh, she's actually going to help you. Huh? Misha places her hands on her hips and launches into a speech. <laughs> I just launch it to the roof. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll just go take a nap then. <laughs> that would sound more plausible coming from Shizune. The solution to your problem is simple. You have to go and apologize to her. Leaving things like this will just make things worse. You can't know that she hates you now unless she tells you. Otherwise, there's no evidence that what you fear is true. Walk up to her. Hey, Emmy, I hate you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hand her a note. Do you hate me? Why in? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and if you really care about her, shouldn't you be worried about how she's taking all this? With a sudden start, I realize that she's right. Maybe I don't care about her after all. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. I've, I've kept waking up to an early alarm because she, because part of me wants to meet Emmy at the track for our runs. I've kept running because I know that Emmy would worry about me if I didn't stay healthy. When I went on the rooftop yesterday i was half hoping that she would be up there and felt disappointed when she wasn't really i'm an idiot yeah no shit <laughs> the self-aware award of the year goes <laughs> to right <laughs> kind of he chan i'm so glad we didn't end up together so <laughs> go and apologize to her as soon as you can look at them okay thighs that's why i like did misha. you say eyes or thighs thighs <laughs> that's why i like misha because she's thick <laughs> With four C's. <laughs> or two double D's. Yeah. I open my mouth to say that I'll do it right away, but the lunch bell rings, and I realize that I still haven't. I still have afternoon class to attend. Skip them. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty hot. <laughs> I know. I, I wish she was like a real choice. <laughs> In real life? <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> First thing after class is over, I'll go see her, I promise. And uh, thanks for the advice, I guess. Misha saving the day. She, had, she just had to call him stupid. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I am stupid. Right. Misha beams at me as if I were just a child that learned his, just learned his ABCs. Good, I'll let Shichan know that you're okay then. Uh, yeah, you do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With a wave and completely disregarding the fact that people are starting to trickle back into the classroom as opposed to out of it. Misha departs the classroom. <laughs> yeah, wasn't she in this class? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose she and Shizune have student council business again. I just felt like that was an unnecessary thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> While the afternoon wears on, I find myself impatient for lessons to end. I need to see Emmy now. I have to try and get set things right. Even if Emmy hates me now, I have to at least apologize instead of avoiding her. I owe her that much. Should I meet her in, in her room? No, I decide it would delay things too much. If I know Emmy, then I can find her at the track. I don't know her, though, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Still have no idea what I'm going to say when I get there, but I take comfort in knowing that Emmy probably wouldn't have, have a plan for something like this either. Except she definitely would, because girls will do that. No. I say that, but I do that. I plan everything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. And overthink everything. Oh, yeah. I mean, I overthink everything like Hassau, but I'm not a stupid asshole yeah you overthink things so you can say the right thing not be a dumbass <laughs> right <laughs> this sounds like the right thing to say <laughs> yeah play it by ear stop getting nervous and just get to the track figure the rest out when i get there you've been so great at winging conversations totally. so far the track looms ahead and another jolt of nerves hits me in the gut i resist the urge to turn and walk away and instead note with satisfaction that i was right and emmy is still running i don't make myself immediately known i find a seat in the bleachers and <laughs> so put on a hoodie and yeah. <laughs> read a newspaper. <laughs> Inconspicuous man. 
and watch her run instead, thinking back to earlier meetings. Lemons. There she is. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> After a few trips around the track, Emmy notices me and skids to a halt. An expression of surprise that slides easily into one of anger. What are you doing here? It's not me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> not sleepwalking. Quite the response I'd hoped for, but at this point, I don't have much of a choice. Well, you pissed her off and then avoided her for three days. So right. That's a pretty mild response to what you should get. <clears throat> I wanted to apologize for what I said the other day. The other day? She laughs, a curt exclamation of disbelief. She has short-term memory loss. <laughs> it's been almost a week, Hassel. Jesus, Hassel. <laughs> God damn, man. She's already found a new guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, better late than never, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was too long. Emmy crosses her arms and stares at me coolly, as if sizing me up. Finally, Is she nods. Coolly a word? I don't think so. <laughs> Cooly, 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 fully isn't, cooly. Isn't that like a food? I'm pretty sure that's a food sure. item. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Water under the bridge, then. I forgive you. What? Well, that what? was easy. <laughs> Is that all? Seriously? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, her she's over you. Almost an impatient question catches me so off guard that she's already halfway down the track before I think to shout after her. <laughs> you running out of air over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, wait. All right. <laughs> we'll figure out if you catch her or if she runs off into the woods. Never to be <laughs> seen again. <laughs> I forgive you. Stop <laughs> following me. <laughs> she takes off and we never hear from Emmy again. Oh, God. She's going into a forest. Logan Paul's on the way. Mm-hmm.